Hi my love, welcome, I'm Venus, and today we are going into a sensual yoga flow for beginners. And even if you're not planning on taking this class right now because you clicked on a random video, I promise you I'm going to make you laugh because yoga is hilarious, our bodies are funny, and because we can't take life too seriously. Come on and join me on the mat. My challenge for you today is not the flow itself, but to try not to laugh when I say something absolutely ridiculous. Start by sitting on your asana and breathing deeply. Set an intention for yourself, but not something super basic like, I intend to be grounded. Get a little bit more creative. Gently lay down. Yes, you are in for a treat right now. We're getting on the ground. Roll your hips up to the sky. You're gonna pretend here like you're not humping the ceiling, even though that's precisely what it looks like. You're not gonna be thinking about your lover or how this position will be helpful for you in any area of your life besides maybe toning your ass. Pause here at the top and now you're gonna gyrate around in a big circle, opening up your hips, and activating this part of your body that you don't really want anyone to see you activate. Let your sensuality ooze out of every pore of your being now that you're in the comfort of your own home and you don't have to worry about doing these things in public. Roll up the spine and roll back down to the ground. Allow this undulation to really circulate your whole nervous system, allowing you to relax and breathe even deeper into your body. Milking this move for all it's worth because this is the last one you get to do. And transition into hugging your knee over to one side for a spinal twist, trying not to stare at the puddle of sweat of your neighbors. Oh wait, we're not actually in a real class. Great, let's switch sides and be grateful that we get to be comfortable and not stare at anybody else's armpits or puddles of sweats while we do our yoga. Hug your knees in for a gentle lubricating circle of the lower back. Switching the direction of this circle being grateful that you are here, present, alive, and aware of your body. Release and try not to get up super awkwardly. Scoot your butt back. And now we're going into a forward fold. This is our sensual flow portion of our class where we're touching our bodies. It wouldn't be sensual if you weren't feeling yourself up luxuriate in touching the length of your legs yes and now we are going to transition sexily onto our hands and knees do a little dance a little wiggle here i actually have no idea why i did that but what this is what we're doing right now and now we are going into angry cat arching your back and hissing and happy cow smiling now imagine that you are a happy cow that lives in india and is greatly worshipped by all your life is so easy now pop your toes under you into a downward dog time to be a dog really stick your butt in your neighbor's face oh wait we're not actually in a real class ah oh, what a relief i can just relax not worry about what my butt looks like and if i'm getting too close to any strangers amazing continue to pedal your feet back and forth stretch it out one last time before we lovingly stroke our leg into this graceful beautiful position i'm gonna call this graceful gazelle I'm not sure why they call this move vision pose. It feels much more graceful like a gazelle to me. 
you're doing great with your arm motion. Amazing, brilliant, graceful gazelle. Folding over, giving yourself a nice squeeze on your thighs and your booty because you deserve it. And gently coming out of the position, popping that toe under back into downward facing dog. Yes, pedaling back and forth once more, getting that motion going in the legs. And take your other graceful leg forward into the graceful gazelle position, not pigeon pose. If anyone knows, by the way, why they refer to it as pigeon pose, I see nothing pigeon me about it. That would be really helpful. Anyways, gracefully extending your arm out in a dancing motion, caressing your leg and your face. Beautiful. And melting down to a forward fold. Take the time to appreciate that you can squeeze parts of your body that you wouldn't normally squeeze in public because you don't want to attract unwanted attention. Great massage work. And now peeling yourself off the floor back to your hands and knees for some more circular motions because that's what we do to sensually express ourselves. You're doing a fantastic job. Let's come up to our knees and go for a gentle back bend here. You can put your hands on your heels to arch and stand back up. Ignore the fact that my head gets decapitated when I stand up and arching back for this challenging finishing move. I'm so proud of you. You've made it to the best part of every single yoga class. The part at the end where you get to lay down fully and surrender. Shake it all out. Breathe deeply and let out a crazy sigh because no one, not even me, can hear you. Be grateful that you can now chill out and tell people for the rest of the day that yes, I did yoga today, I'm a great person, I'm spiritual AF, and I kinda worked out. Roll over to your side into a fetal position, and now wake the F back up. <laughs> I hope you got some giggles out of this ridiculous video. I don't usually create content like this, but today I was in a certain mood and I had to follow the muse and follow the inspiration where it led me. I would love to know if there was a certain part of the video that made it difficult for you to do a yoga pose because it was so funny. Just leave that down in the comments for me. I have more artistic content and sensual dance classes for you in my channel. It would mean a lot for me if you would subscribe. Sending you lots of love and light and I will see you in a video soon. Thank you.